A follow-up now to a Target 12 investigation. It was an emotional night at the State House as a special commission continues to examine the use of solitary confinement at the ACI. And former inmates shared their experiences in solitary. At, we talked to members of the commission about what they think should be done with the practice. I would just news reporter Steph Machado was at tonight's meeting. She joins us now live from the State House with more. Steph. Tonight, the commission heard from current inmates at the ACI who wrote in letters describing their anguish felt in solitary confinement, along with former inmates who came in person to share their stories. 90 days in solitary confinement. Elton Simpson has been out of prison for more than a decade, but he still remembers the three months he spent in solitary confinement at the ACI. I think solitary confinement is mental torture. Target 12 got access to those solitary cells earlier this year. The Department of Corrections calls it restrictive housing, 23 hours a day in the cell with an hour of rec time. If you're not a mentally strong person, you're going to carry that experience with you for a long time after you get out. Simpson testified to a special commission on solitary confinement Wednesday night, along with other former and current inmates who wrote letters from the ACI. There are instances that certainly to me sound like torture. They sound like things that I can't imagine myself going through. Representative Aaron Regenberg is the chair of the commission. He proposed legislation to limit solitary confinement to 15 days or less. I wouldn't say that it's torture or not torture. I think a lot depends on how we manage it. A.T. Wall is the director of the DOC, and he's also on the commission. He says he's open to criticism, but doesn't support a new law restricting the use of solitary. It doesn't afford us the opportunity for the flexibility we need to manage situations that are occurring now. And some of the people who testified tonight said they feel they didn't receive proper mental health or medical treatments while in solitary confinement. That is the subject of the commission's next meeting. Their ultimate goal is to propose reforms for this controversial practice. Reporting live from the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.